Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Oh, we wait for, uh, until the uh, Azan prayer done, eh? Finish, eh? For the meantime, download the slide for Moodle's. Okay, uh, it's a chapter four, guys. Okay, let me start. Okay, let me start, guys. Okay, so uh, previously, uh, this chapter is on chapter six, eh? but okay, I'm the module leader for this module. So after quite um, thinking, okay, like thinking like into a considerations. Uh, I it's not I'm I think that this module should be in front lah, at the at the beginning because you guys are right now uh, thinking about what type of project or application that you want to create. So some when a few intake, okay, I take the uh, survey, I do a survey that mostly students will having a problem, okay, how to uh, brainstorming or identify the idea, okay, or what kind of application that you should create. Uh, so, after a long, okay, um, okay, uh, thinking, then I decided to teach this chapter earlier, okay, so you will know what you should do, because normally this chapter is, is on week 8 or week 9, and it's already like, for me, it's too late. When week eight and week nine is too late already. Um, for you to oh, suppose I do this at the beginning, huh? Something like that. Uh, so a lot of you already done on week eight, on week nine. Most of the student already done. Okay, half of the project, which means that some of you already done the individual project, the application part, and just doing the uh, documentation. So after that consideration, then I decided to make it earlier, this module. So let me see what is actually introduction to computational thinking. What actually I keep teaching you, I keep 
asking you to do. You already know that you need to solve a problem by writing the algorithm. But that is based on general programming language. How about when you use a computational thinking language like the visual, okay, the visual programming like the Scratch, the Snap, the BYOB or the Minecraft? What you should do? Because this computational thinking is not for all people that having or having a background or having a knowledge in uh, in IT, on IT or on, uh, in programming. But this competition, competition thinking is for all people. All people means even you don't have any knowledge, even you don't have any uh, background, okay, to write a program, but you still can write or create a simple application. So let's restart, okay, guys? <clears throat> okay, here we go. So topics, only two topics. Computational thinking, process and design. Okay, the process that involve. Eh? Okay, so at the end of this lecture, I hope you guys will be able to solve the problem using the computational thinking. I'm sure you already see the example of breaking down the problem okay uh, based on the computational thinking uh, in your tutorial class in your lab class this week eh? so that breakdown you can use eh? you can use for your assignment you can use for your assignment okay uh, then, uh, before computers can solve a problem, the problem and how it can be resolved must be understood. Understand and use the four elements of computational thinking in order to solve the problem. So, we have four elements. We have the decomposition, we have the pattern reconnection, abstraction and designing the algorithm. So, let's we proceed. What is computational thinking? So computation, computational thinking allow us to take a complex problem, understand what is the problem is, and develop the possible solution. So that's me. We can then present all the solution in a way that a computer, human, or both human and computer can understand. That is computational thinking okay so we in 2006 say that computational thinking is a fundamental skill for everyone everyone not just for computer scientists that's why i say even though you don't have any background in computer in programming or knowledge in computer or programming you still can develop something using the computational thinking so this computational thinking is to read, to write an arithmetic. We should add computational thinking to every child's analytical ability. So this computational thinking is not only ah, to create a program, no. Okay, uh, when you see the example, you will know detail, okay, what you should do. That's what I say. When you say that means I still don't get an idea for the individual project. That's why I ask you, what Okay, uh, what game or which game that you like most uh, uh, to play? Uh, then, which TV show that you like most? I'm asking you that. Why? Today you will know why I keep asking you. Eh? Okay, so this computational thinking, okay, how can I formulate the problem so it can be solved using a computer? So we analyze, we collect data. Of course, we collect a data. Like right now, some of you are collecting the sprite, eh? downloading the sprite because when you want to create the okay, the program, the application, you said that the sprite that in uh, BYOB or BYOB or Snap or Scratch is not suitable for your application. 
then you are allowed to download the spot. So collecting any data, like maybe you need an information, uh, just like the burger rush that I share with you guys. So the collecting of data, you analyze the data and then you decompose, like breaking down the problem into a smaller problem. And find the patterns to the abstraction, develop the algorithm and build the application. So let's we see more details about it. Eh? So we have these four elements, decompositions, pattern reconnection, abstractions and algorithm. OK, so decomposition is breaking down a complex problem or system into smaller, more manageable parts. OK, pattern reconnection, looking for similarities. Let's say you have a problem, OK, you recognize the problem, you already breaking down the problem into a smaller part, then you check whether they have a similarity or not. Just as like you want to bake a cake. You want to bake a chocolate cake. One chocolate cake and one is, another one is, uh, we can say uh, a red velvet. So when you want to develop or okay, to bake, okay, the chocolate cake and the, uh, the red velvet, you will see which okay is it having a similarity on these two baking cakes any we can uh, any similar pattern such as like you need to preheat the oven first you need to whisk the egg you need to whisk the butter so you can recognize and you can remove the similarity the process okay uh, so then Abstraction, focusing on the important information only. So you will ignore irrelevant details because you already uh, okay, uh, identify the similarity, break down the problem. So you will focus only on the informa uh, important information. Okay, that is why when you do the tutorial, when we did the tutorial together, we always focus on the important information. The others will be like our additional features. If you want to edit this, uh, added the sound, okay, added the uh, changing the costume. So it just only the additional features if are not mentioned in your problem or in your questions. Okay, and then we develop okay a step-by-step -step solution to the problem or the rules to follow to solve the problem so let's we go detail this decomposition pattern reconnection abstraction and algorithm okay so these four elements are like legs on a table if one leg missing means if you didn't do the pattern reconnection, the table will probably collapse. That means your program, your application will probably not complete. Okay, clear. You can unmute yourself, my guys, since uh, yes, yes. Uh, I, I didn't see. Okay, I didn't see the. Uh, I didn't see the chat, eh? Okay, so let me start. Eh? Okay, when continue, start. Okay, continue. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we know decomposition is breaking down the problem into smaller parts. Okay, uh, means that each smaller problem can be examined in more detail. So we, when we breaking down the problems, 
Okay, we considering also a variety of possible contributing factors is the essence of the decomposition. For example, okay, you guys as a student having difficulty in a class, counselor and student will break down the problem and view it from a different angle, okay, angles. So we will see, is the student studying regularly? Is the student taking advantage of extra help sessions? Is the student prepared for class both academically with supplies and ready to learn, like not hungry, not very tired, not very uh, not sleepy? All these play a role. Okay, so then we will ask: Is the student know where to find the resources, like us? The resources is for Moodle. So is it the student know that they can find the resources for Moodle? And from the Microsoft team, our recorded classes. So this is the example that you breaking down because let's say one student coming to the, uh, to the lecturer or to the counselor saying that uh, I don't understand the class. Okay, uh, I have a problem. Okay, uh, I have a difficulty on, uh, in the class. So the, lect the lecturer and the counselor will ask first, will ask, did you attend the class? Then if you didn't attend the class, what step that you take when you didn't attend the class? So we break down, we break down the problem. So that's the same thing. Like when you want to get an idea, I want to create a game. So what kind of game? Is it a simulation game or is it arcade game or is it puzzle game or we have many type of games, am I right guys? So you ask yourself, then when you already choose, okay, I want to create puzzle game. So puzzle game, what kind of puzzle game that you can create? Is it a word search? So word search, what kind of word search? Is it I want to make a different categories like animals, arts, or maybe uh, uh, what we can say, uh, humans, entertainment, artists. So is it you, you will break down them. You ask, then you break down. So let's say you want to create a storytelling. So yeah, I want to create a storytelling. Okay, so storytelling. So what kind of storytelling? Is it for kindergarten or is it for year uh for children or toddlers? Uh, year uh two years old to five years old. Uh, is it for a children from seven to six to twelve years old? So when you already identify, okay. So okay, so I want to create a storytelling for two years old to five years old toddlers. Okay, so what kind of storytelling? So you breaking down, and then you check whether they can be created using the Snap or BYOB or Scratch or not. Clear? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Is there any question in the meeting chat? No, there aren't any questions. Yeah, there aren't any questions. There is a question? No, eh? No, no, there aren't. Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay, so another example. I give a very simple example. You are going to the cinema. You will ask, what films are out now? Which films generous interest you? What time is the film show? How will you get to the movies? Do you have enough money to buy the tickets? So you're breaking down the problem. So do the same when you want to create the application. You know that, oh, I like to watch a uh, TV show a lot. Then what should I do? What can I do? Mm, is it I want to create a quiz TV show just like uh, who wants to be a millionaire or maybe 
I can create a okay a simple TV animation TV show okay in my application. So you ask, you breaking down, you breaking down them. So this is what we did in the decomposition. Or I would like to say we did the brainstorming here. Okay, and then when you already uh, are breaking down the problem, you will find a patterns in your problem. You will look into the things that are similar to each other, okay, to each other problem. Or maybe we can say quite similar or 100% similar. Sometimes it can be a redundancy. And then you learn to recognize the trends and the similarity. Okay, so what worked successfully last time they went into the problem? What didn't work? So when you do, okay, if you have run the problem, okay, what did you learn that worked well or did not work that you can apply to the situation? I think one of your friends today during the tutorial class have learned this pattern reconnection. When you add the stop all, what is, okay, okay, which command that make your work successfully? Which command make it doesn't work and give you the problem? So you will make them, okay, you make into a possibility. So, Example from the previous decomposition, in the scenario of a student struggling in a class, the student and counsellor might reflect on how the student perform in the module or the subject area in the previous year. So is this possibly a new area for the student? Okay, uh, okay so that's why, uh, or maybe the student have a lack enough background experience just like I mentioned, not everyone know a program. So maybe when you have a difficulty, okay, we need to check. So that is the same thing. When you create your program, your application, so you can have this other questions like, oh, I want to create a football, uh, Football games, okay. So when you want to create a football game, so you ask, okay, my football team, because you want to have a computer and a human team. So yours is a human team, then another one is a computer that play by themselves. You create the motion by themselves. Okay, so you will ask what kind of tactic will you, okay, will you use? So which tactics work well last time you play? Which tactic did not work so well against them? When you play the game, the football game, who are the best player? Okay, the striker is fast and skillful, but short. Should we cross the ball in high or play it on the ground? So you asking the more detail. If previously, you already asking in the decomposition. So each of the problem that you identify, you ask more detail about that in the pattern recognition to remove the similarity or the redundancy. Clear, guys? Yes, miss. It's clear. Okay, so next is the abstraction. So I'm asking you guys, is it possible that we learn to drive a car without knowing how all the components work? Is it possible? No, miss. Okay, sure. Yeah, I don't think it's possible either. Okay, you guys already have the driving lesson, license? I, I don't have yes. a driving license yet. Yes. Okay, so when you take the driving license, do you need to know all the components work? How, the, how, all, uh, how all the components work to drive the car? No need. We, just know, we just need to know the names. Not really, just uh, need to know the important thing. Uh, mm. And... Like other irrelevant things are not must. 
correct. That is what we did in the abstraction. We just need to know the important part. Means like when you want to drive a car, you don't have to know the engine whatsoever, right? You just know the main part, how to drive, how to start the engine, how to change the gear, how to press the, okay, the brake and the fuel. Uh, the fuel. I, I think it's a fuel. Eh? We call it so like, uh, is it a fuel? The, the one that we press the brake and another one. I see, I also didn't know, but I know how to drive a car. Ah, the accelerator. Okay, thank you, F1. Ah, okay. Ah. Um, but we have, but we have, <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, uh, we have a foreign student, Vivian. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's accelerator. So because I also didn't know, I just know how to drive a car. So it's possible as long. <laughs> Uh, I call my insurance company, Hassan, if the car breakdowns. <laughs> okay, I didn't know what, okay, what is inside the car, okay. Uh, so, even if a marker is breakdown, I just call the company, then the company say, oh, it's your battery, your battery is already finished. <laughs> okay, uh, so, okay. So, in this abstraction, we just know the important one just like if you want to draw a cat i give you example from this one eh? just like if you want to draw a cat okay the image that you want to draw must representative all types of cats that's mean including the uh, uh maybe it's a cocoon cat okay cocoon types of cat uh, the British short hair, the American short hair, okay, uh, maybe the Pash, uh, the Persian, but the image that you draw, representative all types of cat. So to draw a basic of cat, you just need to know they must have a tail, they must have a fur and eyes. All these characteristics are relevant. They must have a legs. Okay, four legs. Otherwise, it's not a cat. Uh, cat lah. If uh, they have three legs only, or two legs only, or one legs only. Okay. Uh, uh, unless your cat is disabled. Okay. Uh, so you don't have to know what sound a cat makes, or if they like a fish or eat a fish or not. So this. Characteristics are irrelevant and can be filtered up. Just like the bergerage, the example that I show you, the bergerage. We don't have to know that, is it a Big Mac? Is it a cheeseburger? Is it a chicken Mac Deluxe? No need. It's just burger. So we know burger, we have patty, we have cheese, we have the salad, we have the tomato and we have the bread. That is the important part. We don't have to, oh, we must know which one, okay? Uh, uh, is it a Mac, uh, is it a Big Mac, is it a Mac chicken, or is it a cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, no need. Because we can filter it out. The basic one is, it must have a patty, it must have the breads, it must have the salad, it must have the tomato, and maybe cheese. Am I right? Oh, yes, miss. Because when you already find the similarity, we, you already recognize the patterns is your problem, means you already find the similarity. So the abstraction will be applied to gather general characteristic and to filter out the details that we didn't need in order to solve the problem. Okay, so abstraction allow us to create a general idea of what the problem is and how to solve it. Okay, designing an algorithm, oh, I forgot to delete the slide. The slide will be like this one, the, the second slide. You can delete and eh? remove the slide here. Okay, you can delete this slide. Okay, uh, this one is the new one. Okay. Okay, 
<laughs> okay, so designing algorithm, once you already do the decomposition, break it down into a problem, and then you find the patterns, okay, and then you already do the abstraction, filter out the things that not important, then you will design the algorithm. The last part, okay, in the computational thinking, before we can plan out a solution to the problem, is a step-by-step -step process for solving the problems. Okay, think of an algorithm as being like a recipe, very specific, measured ingredients combined in a clearly defined order. It's very specific. If you look at the question in your tutorial class this week, the breakdown of the pseudocode, that is algorithm, eh? pseudocode is one of the algorithm you need to know. It's detailed, it's more detailed and very specific. But still, sometimes we ignore the details that we had in the pseudocode, in the algorithm. So example of writing the algorithm, okay, to write the algorithm, is just like if someone stop you and ask for a direction to the nearest shop, so you need to give them a step-by-step -step instruction on the quickest road. Like, okay, you turn left, turn right, and then after a few, okay, few steps, uh, you will find the shop. Just like your Waze. Just like your Google Maps. Okay, you want to go to the shopping mall, but you didn't know how to get, okay, how to go there. Then you ask the Google Maps and the Waze. Then they will go, okay, in 500 meters, turn left, 400, meter, 400 meters, turn right, and you, uh, and you have arrived to your destination. So details, in a details that you wrote in the algorithms. So this algorithm, you can use either the algorithm itself, the 100% human language, or you can use the pseudocode, or you can also have the flow chart. Clear? Yes, miss. Any questions? Uh, no. No? Uh, no, I have no questions. No questions. You want to go for a toilet break or have a break for five minutes? Yeah, I can use a break. Okay, I give you five minute breaks, okay? So you guys can go for a toilet break and or you can go to have uh, drink a water or some something else, eh? Uh, because Last week, I go for a training, okay? This training is about uh, online classes. So I would like to try implement into our class, eh? to my, all my class now, because they said that doing online is not like physical class. Eh? So it's a third, like, if you have a two hours class, it's good to have like 30 minutes you teach, five to 10 minutes we break, and then we continue because we want to uh, to not get the student uh, have a distracted or become boring. So that's why. So I will, I was implement this week. Okay, I try to implement this week. So I hope we can, uh, starting this week, I try to implement and I hope we can continue. Okay, uh, so if you want to go for a toilet break, you may go to the toilet break now. Okay. Uh, if you want to drink a water, you can drink a water now. Okay? Uh.
Okay, guys. Are you back? Guys? Yes, miss. Are you fan of your laptop now? Yes, miss. Okay, so let's we continue, eh? Okay, we already know the design of algorithm, so next. Okay, so in a computational thinking, it's involved of three key dimension. Okay, you guys can open, okay, the link given at the, of the days, okay. So the first, because we want to see one by one first, eh? the first is computational concept. So after this, you will know why I keep saying iterating, okay, experimenting, uh, testing and debugging, okay, reusing and remixing, all this involved in the key, key dimensions, okay. So that's we see one by one, the computational concepts, practices and the perspective. First one, the computational concept. We learn this in our SNAP in our block palette, in the, our command palette, the data, we have to store, retrieving and updating the data. This was a variables oh, and a list. We store, we retrieve and we update. Okay, uh, variable and the list. And then we have the operator. The operator supports all, okay, for all mathematics, uh, mathematical and logical expression. So this is inside our operator blocks. Events, one thing that causing another things to happen. This is inside our control palette, which is we have the when green flag click, when the uh, keyboard key press, okay? Uh, when the, uh, when I click, okay? Uh, what else? When I receive, all this will causing another things to happen, okay? Parallelism, making things happen at the same time. This is cloning. Okay, this is cloning. We will can have a things happen or running at the same time. So we also can use the broadcasting. Okay, we will use a broadcasting to make things parallelism. Okay, parallel running at the same time. Sequence, we identifying a series of steps for a task. Conditionals, making decision based on the condition. You must know, guys. Okay, uh, I understand. Eh? Uh, we have the if and if else statement. Okay, later uh, next week we will learn about the uh, more detail about the conditional statement. Okay, but we also can use we also can have the if else if statement, guys. Okay, if and uh, if else if statement. Okay, uh, because if let's say, eh, let's say in your tutorial class, recently you were asking to do the exercise question where if the user, okay, enter yes or no. Okay, please enter yes or no. And if the user enter yes, you will start to asking them a questions. And then if the user enter no, you will say goodbye, ha, 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 okay? So, some of you, I, I notice eh, some of the students using else statement. So, this is the consequence when you use a, uh, an else statement. Because when we do the testing, we didn't only type yes or no, okay? We also will include a lot of things like, we include a numbers, okay? We include other words or other text than yes or no. If, if the program doesn't work as instruction, because the instructions say, if answer equals to no, and the program also said that, please enter yes or no. Of course, as a human being, we don't want to follow the questions. We don't want to follow the instruction. So we choose else. So I want to, I want you guys for those who are using else statement, try. If you didn't enter anything, 
or you enter other than no. You accidentally enter A, the letter A. There was still going to goodbye, haha. Which is the goodbye, haha, is only, okay, in the instruction, in the question is if the answer equals to no. That's mean your program can be executed, but remember in chapter two, in the uh, okay, run and testing and debugging part. When the output does not similar to what you want, that it will be a syntax error or logic error. Syntax error or logic error in chapter two. Open again chapter two, go and check. It will be a syntax error or logic error. Logic error. It's a logic error because you can enter any value so when we do the testing and debugging we will test with a lot of kind different type of value so clear Okay, uh, so loops also running the same sequence multiple times. Okay, this is I noticed happen in not you guys because you guys didn't do yet uh, the okay uh, you didn't you just started the the module uh, it's just that uh, four weeks eh uh, this one is from our previous intakes previous previous intake okay means uh, okay it doesn't matter lah which year okay uh, but when okay when you have the statement repeat until okay like repeat until or repeat so do not do not or don't you ever push the loops by inserting the stop all if you use repeat or repeat until or forever if because we know repeat they already identify how many loops they will repeat Repeat until they already have conditions. Same with forever if they already have the condition. That means once they meet the condition, they will stop the task, the loops. But when we push them by inserting the stop all command or the stop all block, I'm asking you. Did the looping is running or not? Is that looping is running or not? Miss, can you repeat the question? I really understand it. Okay. You use repeat. Repeat, we know. The repeat block. Okay? Yeah. Okay, you use the repeat block. Eh? Yeah. You use the repeat block. You know that how many times you will loops once it meets the time. Okay, the how many times the condition the repeat. Let's say you say repeat five. After five times they loops, they will stop. Am I right? Yes. Okay. And then you use repeat until or forever if. So this repeat until and forever if. It's based on the condition that you mentioned. So that's mean if they meet the condition, they will stop the looping. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm asking you, if you put the stop all command, the stop all block in the repeat, uh, repeat until or forever if and repeat, can't you? Mm -hmm. Run your looping, your loop statement 
can your loop statement run properly? Uh, no. No, cannot. Because you already pushed them to stop. We didn't know whether the loops are running properly or not. This is what my students do a mistake a lot. So avoid it, guys. You can put the stop all if you use the infinite loop. Remember uh, the tutorial that we did together using the infinite loop, the forever, the when we touch, okay, we touch the uh, dino, touch the bed, then R, R, arch, and then ouch, 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 and then they will say, ah, I'm dead, game over. But since we put the forever, which is the infinite loop, ah, I'm dead, game over, will keep showing and display, am I right? Then it's required the stop all, so you can use, because we don't have any condition to stop the program. And when doesn't stop the program, that's mean your program does not terminate. So in that infinite loop, infinite loop, eh, which is forever, you can use the stop all. But you need to check it carefully because using a stop all, using a forever loop, sometimes it will make your program doesn't work at all for second time. So, please, please, if you want to use this command, run properly, run multiple times. Is it you get the exact output as in struct or as in questions or as in problem or not? Okay? Clear? Yes, miss. Uh, miss, I have a question. Yes. So if let's say my program, right, there's no condition such as repeat, how many times repeat if forever if, uh. then that means I have to put stop all. If forever if, no need. Forever if, because they have a condition, they will stop once meets the condition. So as long as I don't have these three uh, condition blocks, I have to put the stop all on. To stop that the, uh, I mentioned, you must look at the program. Is it you? Is it a must to have this stop all? Because you must know when you use stop all, it will stop everything. So you must use wisely. Choose wisely where you want to use. If doesn't important, it's not important. No need to use at all because your program will stop when you already complete the task, the task that you wrote in the script. Why you need to put stop all when you already given an instruction inside your program using a script, they will automatically stop. Okay, okay, thank you. Ah, clear. Clear, miss. Ah, I know, students like to use stop all. Okay, a lot, lot of students like to use stop all. 
And when it comes to me, like when I mark their lab test, their individual project, you know what happened? Suddenly, while running the program, it stopped. So I cannot see the rest of the program because of the using of stop all. So, so please guys, okay, avoid. If you already, if you already use the instruction, you're giving the instruction properly, you don't have to insert stop all at all because they will stop, your program will stop. Like our tutorial this week, the first tutorial question we did together that we have the repeat until, please, please, please. Do we insert any stop all inside that uh, uh, inside that program? I'm asking you. Did we insert any stop all inside the program? No, but no. the program the program stop or not? I'm asking you. Yes, me. It stopped. They will stop because the instruction is just finished there. The script that you give in the uh, the instruction that you wrote in the script just stop after. Uh, you say uh, the okay. Uh, those mice doesn't chase them self. Then you move out of the screen. Then it will stop because you already instruct. They will end the program. The program will end after the uh, okay. The sprite move out from the screen. So we didn't use any stop all. Okay, uh, clear? Yes, miss. Okay. Okay, so now next. Eh? Okay, so if you run the video, okay, I will not open the audio as the audio is too loud. Okay, so if you look here, eh, if you look here, we have experimenting and iterating in the computational practices. Testing and debugging, reusing and remixing, and abstracting and modularizing. This is inside your documentation. These two, testing and abstracting, I say that I will give you the template. Okay, I will give you the template on week uh, six or seven. Okay, uh, so let's we see one by one the detail of experimenting and iterating what we do in this all okay practices the computational practices uh, if you notice eh, uh, during this week tutorial i already starting showing you that we did one by one and then we test we run okay Okay, so this one is the experimenting and algorithm. What is the experimenting and algorithm? Develop a little bit, then trying out, then develop some more. So when you develop a little bit and then you trying out, then you develop some more, then you can combine this with the testing and the debugging. Okay, you test, you develop, then you test. And then Oh, it's working. Then you develop. Okay, you add more. And then you test again. Then you develop. So you will get less mistake or you will get uh, you will make less mistake or less error when you do or implement the experimenting and the iterating and the testing and debugging. What strategy? Ah, so when you have, okay, you we, you do one by one, so you can, huh, remember when we did the, uh, the age, oh, the age can, uh, we can also enter a character, a, a string, okay, inside the age value, so I don't want, I want to, if 
Okay, the age is a number or not. So you can try. Oh, adding one thing. That, so only numbers, okay, can be entered in the value in the age, inside the age. So we try one by one. Okay, clear? Clear, miss. Yeah. Okay. Next, we go to testing and debugging. So when we when we create a program, we must do the testing, making sure things work and finding. Okay, uh, find a mis I'm fixing a mistakes when they arise. So this is what I mean. Okay, when you get the user entered, especially when you ask the question, the question was, what is your name? Okay, avoid that they can enter any other value, especially if you have a condition. If the condition, if age greater than 18, so if you, if people can enter a text, okay, uh, a string. So you, they cannot do the condition. So it won't work. The condition will have an error because they don't, it doesn't work. Because the age doesn't uh, a value because they cannot, A greater than 18, cannot. They cannot find A because A, the value A that you enter, okay, uh, it will equals to zero. So, make sure to do the testing. What is different from what you want and read through the script to investigate the cause of the problem. So when you do the testing, usually when we are, uh, when, uh, when we, okay, I also, okay, when we did the testing, we just simply uh, just put yes or no, but we didn't insert any other value. That is the must, okay? A good testing is we, when we evaluate, okay, test uh, our program, we type a different value, okay? So if our program can accept Okay, uh, a text for numbers, then the functionality is not correct. It doesn't work. So please, guys, do the testing and debugging, and you take a note what kind of testing that you already test. So let's say you do, uh, you test about the value numbers and the uh, strings. Okay, the text. So, is it working properly or not? So, take a note. Okay, take a note. You can view all, okay, the rest of the uh, video uh, for, uh, okay, by yourself because you have the link. Okay, I will just... You can get an idea, okay? You can get an idea from other people. You can use other people's idea, but remixing with your own work. This is normally what students missing out, okay? Uh, like one of the students, uh, it's a good idea, eh? it's a good thing. Eh? Uh, one of the students asking me, Miss, I download the sprite from internet, but then I editing the sprite to okay make it uh, uh, suitable. I think suitable or fixed uh, into my program. So do do I need to cite? Yes, you still need to cite them because you are reuse other people picture, but then you make 
them into your own image but you still need to give a credit so you need to put inside the and text referencing okay uh, so reusing and remixing means or you are inspired by. Uh, even though you say, Miss, I already added, but you still need to give a credit. So you need to do the referencing. Clear? Clear, Miss. Clear, Miss. Okay, so, okay, so the last one, abstracting and modular writing. Okay, exploring connection and parts. We need to find them. But what you find? Okay. Where Miss, is uh, you might have sound problem. Your mic okay. might have problem. Combine them to become a program. Miss. Miss, just now your mic got problem. Yeah. My mic got problem? Yes. Yep, you sound very soft and your voice breaking. No, up. no, the one is from the video. <laughs> no, no, uh, Miss voice, right? Yeah, her, her voice is very soft for me also. Miss voice. Okay, very, oh, soft. very soft. Eh? Hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, 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 very soft. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Ah, so the abstracting and the more okay and the modularizing is that you figure it out what sprites are needed for your program, and then you figure it out what script are needed. Okay, in your program, and then. You figure it out after that. Once you figure it out, what script, what spark, okay, uh, is it uh, what okay background stage that you need? So then after that, you organize them and combine, okay, combine all of them, making it to a one program. So this is abstracting and modular rising. You identify. So now is the time for you to identify what okay what script are you needed for your program what spike are you needed for your program so that's why you need to know which application or what application that you want to create then after that you can start deciding how many spot you need what okay is it the spot is inside the image or you need to download somewhere else so guys starting to do this as you can see until now until the computational practices they teach you on how you want to get the idea break down your program into a small things then you combine them into a bigger application so clear guys uh, yes miss it's clear okay we go to the slide okay so now the last 
uh, key, okay, uh, last key, okay, for the computational thinking is the computational perspective. So, computational perspective have four, okay, as you can see, uh, practices has four, but concept we have seven, eh? so perspective is expressing, okay, expressing like, I can create, you express yourself, I can create, don't say, I cannot create, I cannot, of course you can't, so I can create, then do the connecting, I can do different things when I have access to others. This is reusing and remixing. When you say that, oh, I want to create a cash game, but when I look, a lot of people using Apple to do the cash game. I can do different things. The cash game is not about Apple and basket only. So that is a connecting. And then questioning. I can. Use computation to ask questions to make sense of computational things in the world. So, feeling empowered to ask questions about the world. So, questions, question, questioning, questioning yourself. Okay, exploring. Exploring, I know how to do this. Uh, you want to create puzzle, word puzzle. Uh, I know how to do this. I just need to have the A, B, uh, A to Z. And then I need to have a few uh, letter, okay, few words. And then I need to make sure that the words can be combined. I can be, I, I know how, how I like to do and I know how other people like to do it. So if I, you, you will see other people works, how they do it. So why is that better for them? But why you cannot do better than them? Just like the burger rush. We had the burger rush in the, uh, in the computer games and in the smartphone games and handphone games, right? How they can create that burger rush in computer games and smartphone? And how come I cannot create in the application? In, okay, using the BYOB or Scratch or Snap. So, you know how to do that. And you ask how they are do, how other people do that. How other people like to do it. So, then you can do the program. You must understand how the one thing can be done in many ways. It's not only... When we say, ah, oh, application, or oh, it's only game. But we can also create a game, become an educational game. Something like, if they lost the game, they need to answer a quiz. Ah, uh, because it's a punishment for them. So if they manage to answer the quiz, then it will end the game. Make something different. Clear. Clear. Clear, Miss. Clear, Miss. Okay, now I like to help you guys how to discover your idea. What you should do, because I understand that eh, only a few of you already get the idea, but a few more of you doesn't have the idea yet. Okay, um, so actually you must uh, at least start to get the idea eh, by this week. Eh? Okay, so let's we go. You have an idea, okay? But you don't know how to ex but, uh, explore your idea. I understand a lot of you have an idea inside your mind right now, but you didn't know how to 
explore, okay, uh, like making or breaking down your idea because you afraid that maybe it doesn't work. So ask yourself, is your idea is to create one application? So if I want to create a game, what is my favorite game? Is it arcade game? Is it board game? Is it sports game? So if you already identify, I mentioned already this thing. So if you already identify, could you make it simplify into a digital version of your game? Or could you mix it up a bit, like, like giving it a different theme or main characters or adding a quiz like I mentioned? So asking, asking, breaking down the problem, asking what you can do, decomposition. Then, maybe, oh, I don't like games. I don't play games. It's real, eh? There is some people didn't play a game. Okay? So, if you didn't play a game, ask, what are your other favorite academic fields? If you love art, can you make an art-making program? If you, love, if you love history, how about an interactive timeline, interactive storyline about history? If you love science, how about a scientific simulation? Or how about creating a quiz based on science? Uh, we have physics, chemistry, and a pure science. So us do the decomposition in this time, okay? Uh, this time around, you start brainstorming by do the decomposition, asking yourself. If you don't like academy, you don't like games, you can ask yourself. This is a few examples, eh? it's not only these four. You can do other things as well. This is an example that I give you during the class, okay? So, ask what's your favorite movie? What is your favorite TV show? What is your favorite, uh, okay? Maybe your favorite TV show, uh, movie is Avengers. So, could you make a digital version of a scene? or character from it. Maybe make a game based on it. Avengers game, Marvel game. Maybe you can create that. Or maybe DC games. The superhero DC. Or the Superman, okay. Um, the Catwoman. Huh. Wonder Woman. Eh, Wonder Woman. No, 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 no. Uh. So us, then break down, do the decomposition. And last one, what last example. Actually, you have many. You can create many. Uh, it's a gadget. Right now, everyone loves gadget. So you can ask, what's a real life gadget that you love? Is it smartphone? Is it iPad? Is it PS5? Is it Xbox? So could you make a simulation of it? You can brainstorm your idea. Clear? Clear, Miss. I call the audio. Clear, yeah, okay. Ah. Okay, once of your friends saying that you have an idea but don't know what to start or how to start, asking. Start by breaking down. Identify what kind of, how many sprite you need, what kind of sprite that you need, what script that you need. Asking how you want to have the, okay, the idea to be worked using the 
uh, snap or BYOB or the scratch. So asking yourself. Huh? Okay. So I give you one idea about, okay, uh, a backup, okay, backup game. So, uh, okay, so you want to make a clone of backup, okay, because that is your favorite retro arcade game. So you might write, uh, okay, like a backup, a game where you can control a feather, okay, at the bottom of the screen. And you use it to hit a ball upwards and at angles to break the bricks. So the goal is to break all the bricks and not let the ball through the ground too many times. So, just like when you ask me, uh, you have an idea, but you don't know how to start. This is a good example that I give you. So, what kind of idea you have, Ilalang? Let's we figure out. Oh, you already thanks me because you already know what to do. GTA 6. Rifat say GTA 6. So, GTA is a uh, game, right, Rifat? Uh, sorry lah, I didn't play the hard, hard game, eh. The very hard game. I just playing like a uh, word search puzzle, okay. Uh, the, okay, uh, what else? Uh, something like... Candy Crush, okay, the cooking, cooking, okay, uh, cooking games, only that. Uh, okay, Shami say Roblox, Mortal Kombat, us, uh, Mortal Kombat. So, you explain, okay, uh, you detail them, you write them, how the Mortal Kombat control, okay, uh, okay, the control for, uh, for the Mortal Kombat, how, uh, for the Roblox how? Flight simulator how? So, and if you use a different, okay, uh, uh, what we call, okay, uh, let's say it's Motor Combat is a shooting game, right? Uh, say Motor Combat just now. Motor Combat is a shooting game, am I right? It's a fighting game, miss. Huh? It's a fighting game, miss. A fighting game, so. How they fight the motor combat? Is it they need a weapon to com uh, okay to fight? Uh, so if I didn't use a weapon, I use a different type of uh, okay tools. Is it okay? So you ask and you try. Okay, uh, I can see eh after today's class, a lot of you already get the idea what you can do. So ex you can brainstorm the idea. That's why I keep saying that brainstorming, brainstorming. Uh, that's why I say this topic cannot be on week 8 anymore. It must be on earliest week. Uh, because you need this one. Otherwise, you will be stuck. Didn't know where to start. What you should do. What to do. Right? Oh, just freeze. Oh. But maybe you can change using a tools weapon. Ah, maybe. Ah, doesn't mean it must be hundred percent similar. Hmm. Okay, clear. Uh, clear, miss. Okay. Okay. So, then after that, you have the schedule. This is what we call a strategy planning. How much time do you have to make this program? Two months. You have two months to finish the program. Okay. How many weeks and how much time each day? Okay. So, we say it's like nine weeks, ten weeks, something like that. Okay. And what features will you write each week? Uh, so, first week, what you did? Brainstorming the idea. Identify the problem. <coughs> Break down the problem. Okay, do the decomposition. So, you schedule. Have a schedule. That is what we do it in the strategy planning. Eh? And then, what technology you use? Uh, 
so you need to consider which technologies, language or libraries or environments you are familiar with or able to learn easily and which of them are the most, okay? Uh, suddenly disappear, wait, huh? Okay, uh, so, okay, so which are them are most well suited for the development? In this case, we will use, okay, BYOB. We will use either district. You are allowed to use either district. But of course, I understand. Eh, a lot of you will choose SNAP. Why I'm very confident that you guys will use SNAP? Because SNAP have a lot more block that you can implement. Eh, uh, because they already advanced eh, uh, compared to the BYOB and the uh, Scratch. Okay. Uh, so when you do the planning, you decide what you want to make. Set up the editor, which is the technology that you use. Design. Design the appearance and look. The background stage, okay? Uh, the background image, uh, your sprite. Uh, what features it will include? How the user will interact with it? Is it using the, uh, okay? Uh, using the... Uh, keyboard or is it using a mouse only? Okay, uh, so how the game will work if you use a game? How the program will work if you create a program, an application program? Plan your code. Breaking down your program down into a mini program. Okay, extra, any extra things that come across during development process you can head on, no problem, and have a schedule. When you design, you can break down into a storyboard like this. You have an idea? Okay, first page is my start and help button. So start, they will go to start. Help means I will give the instruction how to use the application. So when you click the help, they will see how to play. When you start, okay, they will start. And then it's either you won or you lost. Get into the real planning and where it gets fun. Your aim in this step is to figure out what you are making, what will it look like, and what features it will include, what features it won't include. Okay, and do the developments. When you already have the developments, you already know what features will be included, start with the problem analysis, identify the input, identify the output and process, and start with the algorithm. That's the, you start with the code. Each development process include a testing. You must have the testing. So when you say, testing you must write the best code the best code use meaningful name for your broadcasting from your custom blog all this we will learn in our class don't worry yeah for your variables for your list name so use a meaningful names okay always validate the input ha huh? this is what i mean okay is it a correct type? If the question is about uh, numbers, why we must enter the tax value? Uh, wording, okay? Correct length, correct range, completeness. Limit scope to the minimum, okay? Uh, in other programming language, we have public, private, static, global, and local. But in BYOB, we have Two scope only, okay, global and local, okay. Uh, declare variables at the highest appropriate level and assign values to them using function, okay. Any questions? Uh, no answer lah. Any question? The answer will be given by me. Any questions related to? Oh, no, it's... Huh? No questions for me. No question. no question for you. So now, guys, 
did you get an idea while we have the lecture? Do you get the idea while we're having the lecture? Or is it make you clear now for what you should do on your assignment? How to get the idea? Clear and the right, idea is coming. Yes, Ashfa? Yeah, I already had an idea. I'm just trying to think how I'm going to implement the idea. Okay, good. So you can try to practice using the computational thinking techniques, the elements, the four elements, and the uh, the three keys, and eh? the, the three keys that we had, the practices, perspective, and another one is, see, your lecture also forget, huh? and the, another one is concept. Uh, so try to implement them. Okay. 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 Some of you asking me, eh? Okay. I will check. I will check your project, but, 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 <laughs> okay. But not. Uh, correcting your project, eh? But what I will do is usually I will just give a guideline or advice. Okay, maybe I will say, okay, try to use, okay, uh, to use this block. Uh, is it working? So I will just uh, giving the guideline and advice, not correcting. Ah. Uh, because if I correcting your project, that means it's not your task anymore. <laughs> it become my task. Then how about your marks? The marks will be given by me to you. But if I already correcting your work, then I give the marks for me. I cannot lah. Eh? But I will advise you and I will guide you. Uh, I will guide and advise you. I just like, uh, I will normally, I, I usually I will just list down the step. Okay, the guideline, what you should do. Uh, maybe let's say you use uh, the, the block, okay, but the block, okay, <clears throat> uh, the block doesn't work well. So then I will advise twice to use other block, other command. Uh, then usually, usually they will get, okay. Uh. Yes, yes, Sutesh, correct. Uh, good, Saad, okay. Uh, yes, Sutesh, okay. Uh, you can create your own or you can also can download from somewhere else. Okay, uh, you can create your own or you can also download from somewhere else. Uh, okay, mm. I know we are not very creative to create our own sprite. Okay, maybe our own, our own sprite will become a stick man only, a stick woman and stick man. So don't worry, I'm not that strict. Eh? Uh, usually, I will allow students to download the spot. Mm. Okay. Uh, any other questions? So, any other question, guys? Uh, no questions. No question. If no question, I want to give you the attendance. No questions. I want to stop the recording and give you the attendance. Do you have any questions? No. Other students? Everyone clear? No question for now, of course. Eh? Uh, later when you already start, okay? Uh, start doing it, maybe you will have question. Okay, 
No question, eh? No question, yes, for now. No question for now. So, agree, eh? No question. I will stop the recording.